The fact is, continuous signals are not as attractive as blinking ones. Octopi and squid have known this since ancestral times. People in traffic control, advertising, or sales have been making use of it for the last two days. It's true that some people botch it all up, but you may pay too high a price for not following certain warnings. Each zoological class has its own kind of vision, and sunlight has secret frequencies that are known only by certain chosen ones. Insects and hummingbirds detect certain hues from flowers that are addressed only to them. Two different worlds, plants and animals, establish a profitable communication link between the animals that feed on them and the plants that reproduce themselves thanks to the animals. The secret complicity between animals and their favorite flowers is similar to our system to detect counterfeit bills. With the same kind of light that insects can see, we can detect the hidden details of authentic bills. The band of ultraviolet light that flowers reflect is perceived by pollinating animals. Under ultraviolet light, each plant reveals a different coloring to call the animals that will scatter their genes. Ultraviolet rays draw insects towards the nourishing pollen, and it's an irresistible instinct, a call that other arthropods use to hunt better at night. Modern-day scorpions are exactly the same as the scorpions that walked the Earth 300 million years ago. Their design is a good one. At first sight, we only perceive some of their charms. Scorpions at night, lighted by the moon and the stars, present a surprising appearance. Their cuticle changes it becomes strangely phosphorescent. We have intensified the ultraviolet light until our eyes can see it. Now we can understand how they see and how they see themselves. Some scientists think that since scorpions are almost blind nocturnal animals, this ability to reflect ultraviolet light may be useful to locate themselves. They're territorial beings and do not admit the presence of their own kind, except for breeding, and if it is of the opposite gender. It's clear that this is not the case here. The most fascinating theory says that their shining nighttime appearance lures and confuses insects. The moon reflects light on the scorpion's body, and their prey see ultraviolet rays, like a ship drawn to a lighthouse. This specimen is not mad. It's hunting, although we can't see its prey under this light. A flashlight reveals that there is moth for dinner. Moth again. Man has copied the scorpion's strategy and uses ultraviolet light to draw insects to these ingenious anti-mosquito lamps. We've taken the idea from the scorpions and have added some energy to it. However, the result is the same. Now there's an insect, now there isn't.
Reflecting the light in a thousand ways, some animals during the day and others at night, colors are turned into words. Butterflies are the champions as the most colorful animals in the world. The scales that cover them are tiny mirrors that filter, screen, and reflect everywhere the light that falls on them. But is there an animal that generates its own light? Or are all of them mirrors like the moon? It's precisely at night when we can find animals that generate their own light. Glowworms are strange beings. They are unlikely carnivorous beetles. They're fearsome hunters. They paralyze their prey with venom, dissolve them with saliva, and then drink them. Glowworm luminescence is a sexual device. The idea is for wingless females to flash their light and draw a mate. Like a lighthouse revealing its location. They wait in the vegetation for a mate to fall, blinded by their glitter. Some species shine constantly. Others turn on and off. And still others present a double spotlight, probably to stand out the most. Some males also glow, and by doing so, they establish their position before any possible rivals. In general, when faced with danger, they usually turn themselves off. But this confused specimen was drawn to us maybe by the watch's fluorescent numbers, and looked irritated at the least, with everything turned on. The glowworm's light is cold. Our light bulbs, since the days of Edison, require significant power consumption. But this is chemical luminescence. It neither emits nor consumes heat. By combining luciferine and luciferase, the exclusive hormones of the glowworm, we now have achieved the same chemical effect to set points of light in the dark. But nobody should question the identity of the inventor of the most ecological form of light. Lights are perfect to send information at night. If we have already decided on a good secret code, then we've established the basis of communication for the best bioluminescent secret intelligence service.